feel so well rested after the 24 hour listing challenge video. That video blew up. You guys responded in a really big way, but many of you had a lot of really great questions. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering all of those questions, except for this one. But by far the biggest request I had was for a video just like this, breaking down what listing for 24 hours and listing 170 items in one day did for my sale. You wanted to see the fruits of my labor if there are any, and you wanted to know more than anything, did this listing challenge break my store or did it blow up like the video did? Just to be fair, we're going to be comparing the 10 days prior to starting this challenge with the 10 days during and after it. First, let's talk quantity of sales. My sales were actually up 50% from the prior time period, meaning I had 150% of the sales that I had in the same amount of time prior to starting this challenge. But with a higher volume of sales coming in, were those actually quality sales? And looking at the numbers, I can tell you that my total gross sales actually increased by 31% over this time period. And my average sales price only reduced by 78 cents, which was 2%, bringing my average sales price over this time period to $29.28, where it was $30.04. So about the same with a 31% increase in those gross sales. What everyone really wants to know is how many of my sales actually came from the items I listed during the 24 hour challenge. I'm happy to report that a whopping 51% of the items I sold over the last 10 days came from the items that I listed during the 24 hour challenge. 51%. The increase could certainly be attributed to the sudden influx of action in my store or hear me out on this. Could it just be that on eBay new listings sell? Do we get sales on eBay because of new activity or do new listings bring sales and activity to the store? How many times have you heard sales bring sales? By listing those new items which sell quickly on eBay, are the other stagnant stale items in your store then exposed to more buyers because you listed that shiny new thing now suddenly your store has more attention? During this challenge, I brought my active listings up to 1,700 in my store. I have no desire to have 1,700 active listings. That means I have 1,700 unsold items. What's wrong with my items and why aren't they selling? Of course, we all have a few bad buys from time to time and your store may even be holding on to items that you bought a long time ago before you really had much experience in how to source. But I feel like there's one area of my store that was like showing out in that regard more than others and that's women's fashion. Like I had a lot of things that have just been sitting stale and stagnant in my store in the way of women's clothing. So this week I got to wondering what would happen if they were all new listings and I ended 236 active listings in women's accessories and fashion. I bulk edited them and clicked sell similar. I lost all of the watchers on the items but they now appeared as new listings. So did that result in sales? Yeah, a few. Not quite as many as I'd hoped, but the category did finally start to see some action. Of the 170 items that I listed during the challenge, 20 have already sold in the first 10 days. That's a 12% sell through rate in 10 days. I like it. Typically when items sell within days of listing, we mark that item down as a bolo or even wonder if we priced it too low. I'm interested to experiment with two things. Number one, what will the sell through rate of the 170 items that I listed look like in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? Number two, what would happen if instead of listing five to 10 items, five to seven days a week, what if I just listed 50 to 70 items one day a week? I could spend the other days focusing on why my 1700 items haven't sold. Because here's something important that I'm just now telling you about. The days after this challenge, the 10 days included in this video, I didn't really Really list. I listed a handful of things two days maybe and my sales were still up. Does eBay care when the consistency is or do they just care that there's consistency? Does it matter to the algorithm whether you're listing every single day consistently or does the algorithm see a bigger picture and does consistency over 52 weeks in a year matter more than 365 days? Only time will tell because I'm going to be experimenting with this for the duration of 2022 and hopefully develop new practices to bring me into the new year. I realize some, but not all of you 
are interested in what exactly those items that sold over the last 10 days were, especially the ones that were just listed within days. So I've made an entirely separate video in case that's not what you clicked on this one for. You can check it out here and that is most everything I believe that sold. I tried to remember to get that camera out every time prior to doing my shipments. I'm gonna take these shipments off to the post office. Thank you guys in advance for checking out that video. God bless you and remember, treat your business like your business.